Hi! We are here for this random haul of things that I've been getting and collecting and so forth and they don't really all fall into one category or another so I thought I would just show you the things I've gotten, why I've gotten them, some are repeats that I've liked so much that I've gotten another set or another part of. Um, other things are just brand new things. So let's get going and let me just show you. I've got my pile here and the birds are absolutely, uh, it's just bird central here as you can hear that and you can I'm sure hear the machine that just started some sort back there. I don't know what that is. So I'm going to just talk loudly and hopefully you can hear me over the cacophony, cacophony? <laughs> over, over the cacophony of nature out here in my backyard. So first off, you probably saw it in the thumbnail because I think I'm putting it in there. Um, my hat. <laughs> I recently got this hat and I'm loving it. It's a, like a Panama hat. Um, I got it at Loft. I just think it is so cute. I like that it has just a small-ish kind of a brim and it's not too stiff or whatever. I just think it's, now there's an airplane. <laughs> um, it's just kind of perfect because when I'm outside, I kind of want to keep the sun off of my face. Wow. I want to keep the sun off of my face, but I don't really want a gigantic brim all the time. So this just works perfectly. And so this will be my hat. And I like my hat. <laughs> Got it at Loft. I don't know if I mentioned that. So I'm almost at the end of my eye cream. Um, it's the Bare Minerals one that I've been showing lately and I've been really enjoying it. I think it's done a really good job. But you know me, I always want to try something different. And I have been told that this is working wonders for people. And I thought I'd give it a try. I love Colleen Rothschild to begin with. So I've tried many of her things and really do enjoy a lot of her products. So I decided to get the Retinol Supreme Eye Serum, and this is what I'll be trying next. I haven't even broken into it yet, but this is the container and what it looks like. It's got a little pump. I'm excited about it. So this, this will be my new, um, my new thing to try once my other one runs out, which will be very soon, probably within the next week or so, and I'll be telling you what I think about this one. Another item I picked up recently is a repurchase because I love this stuff so much. It is the uh, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. And I get it in number one, Fair. Beautiful compact. I do love how thin it is and how easy it is to use. It's got a great um, opening thing here so that it's got a notch so you can hold it, which I really like. It's got a mirror. I love it. It's just, as it says, flawless finish. It just gives a good, translucent light um, finish to whatever uh, foundation or makeup I've put on that day and it's great for touch-ups it never gets cloggy it never gets powdery looking it just kind of just gives you this um, almost airbrushed effect and so I'm really enjoying this a lot I highly recommend it and again like I said this is a second purchase which is rare for me if I repurchase something that's um, that's kind of a big deal because I love trying new things so anyway love that stuff while I'm still kind of in the makeup portion here, I thought I would also show you that I recently tr am trying this Chanel blush. It's kind of a, it's called Golden Sun, and they do call it a powder br blush. And I, every time I see that name, that Golden Sun, I think of the um, sound of music. Drop of Golden Sun, you know. Anyway, nice mirror, comes with a nice brush. But this is what it looks like. It's just a very, um, you can hardly see it. It does, just gives a light little flush of color with a bit of sheen to it, and I think it just looks like a beautiful wash of natural natural color on the face. So really thinking this is a good one. Um, I've used it about four times. Just a real pretty, real pretty glow. Just kind of a sort of a sun-kissed kind of a look. Really enjoying this, so I highly recommend this one. I've given it a good shot. Thought I'd show that one to you too. I have um, in the past tried uh, the MAC Prep and Prime in Radiant Rose and I've learned that I'm not pink enough for that one. It's just too pink for me. I have more of a yellowish, sort of a neutral to yellowish undertone in my skin. So I thought I would give this one a try. I really like the concept of the whole Prep and Prime pen, um, brightening pen, but I just couldn't get with that color. So I'm going to try light this time. It's just that, you know, how you just uh, you click it up and you put it under and just brightens. I haven't tried it yet, just got this and um, we're gonna give that a try. So you'll be seeing that in a recent, in an upcoming video, probably a love it, like it, or leave it to let you know what I think of that one. Okay, also wanted to try a new uh, Rouge Coco Gloss from Chanel. I really like these. 
I thought this one looked like a really good color. It is number 722. Just a simple with a little bit of a golden sheen to it. Just a simple nude. Really liking the idea of this one. I like how it looks on. They feel beautiful. Um, they just feel amazing on the lips. They feel so moisturizing. They are not gloppy. They're not sticky in any way. I really do like these. And this is a very good neutral. Wear with anything. Throw it in your purse. Color. Couldn't resist. So I thought I'm going to give this one a try. 722. Okay. At Loft recently, they had a sale, or they're having it right now, I think, as a matter of fact, on sunglasses. And their sunglasses are very cute. And they do last very well. They're very well made. And I just thought I'd try these. Because this isn't a, a style that I would probably wear very often. But I thought they were adorable and um, they were on sale for 15. Could not resist. You can even do that in the uh, drugstore. So, yeah. <laughs> I like them. They're a bit large. I understand that. But they're almost just for fun more than anything else. And I just thought they were really cute. So, yeah. This is really what they look like. They have this kind of a beige tone. And also on the temples, just kind of a beige tone. And then they have the uh, this golden bit on the rest. They have 100% UV protection. So I thought those would be fun to just use every once in a while, have a different look. This t-shirt is one that I got from Target a couple years ago, I think, and I wore the heck out of it. And so I needed to get another one. I don't know what it is about this one, but I love it. I think it looks really cute with white jeans. It's this, uh, Kind of an elephant. It has a little bit of a high low to it at the bottom. Love it, and I had to get it again. So I grabbed that one recently. This shirt, every once in a while, I really like to have like a message shirt. Like, as a matter of fact, right now I'm wearing my Lemur, um, my love sweater. <laughs> But every once in a while, I'll see something that has a message on it, and I try not to go too crazy with them because I feel like I could, you know, if I allowed myself, but I try not to, but this I could not resist. Um, mostly I'll probably wear it to bed with, like, leggings and things like that, but it was just, I, I couldn't stand it. For lounging around the house, I just, you know, it just, I don't know. I am very busy. <laughs> I'm just wearing that. I am very busy, and it is also a high-low. So with like black leggings, which I live in around the house on the weekend, I am very busy. Couldn't resist. I recently did a little update of my t-shirts and things for the summer. I went through my little section and I got rid of the ones that were just older, not looking their best. You know how t-shirts just get really worn looking after a while or stained or whatever. And I realized that I could, um, I could use a few more of the ones that are my favorites. So basically I love the ones from Nordstrom that are just, they're silky, they're soft, they don't cling in weird places. Um, they just drape beautifully and I really appreciate that. I got one in a crew neck, it's just in the navy color, just a short sleeve top. Very, very cute, I like this color. And then I got two to replace other ones, a black and a white, and they're more of the v-neck. But they're just such a great, um, like flowy, soft, um, non-clingy, I think they're modal. Yes, 95% modal and 5% spandex. Throw them in the washer, throw them in the dryer. It says lay flat to dry, I've never done that in my life. I mean, I just, I can't, I can't deal with things that take too much laundering issues. But it's a nice v-neck, very attractive. And then I got it in white also, because honestly, white t-shirt that doesn't cling and is fresh and clean for the summer, perfect. This top I just grabbed from Loft yesterday. And I like to wear, um, of course you know I like to wear white on the bottom all the time. And I really like unexpected colors in the summer with white pants. I thought this plum tone would be perfect. This really cute top, it's just a flowy little v-neck with these short sleeves with the little ruffles. It's a little bit of a high-low effect in this really pretty plum color with white pants. I think that is so cute, so anyway picked this up from Loft yesterday. I got another couple pair of uh, white pants and I thought they were so cute. These white jeans and they have um, like a raw cut edge and they have a bit of distressing on them but not too much. And they're cropped 
and I love them. They're the Modern Skinny Crop from Loft. Can't go wrong with those. And then I also grabbed this pair, and they're also a Modern Skinny Crop, um, and they don't have any distressing, but they've got the cute fringe ankle, little double fringe. Couldn't resist those. I have that same double fringe thing in um, blue jeans, and I love them and wear them a lot, so I thought this would be a good addition since I'm always wearing white. <laughs> Couple, three more items. Um, when I was in Florida, I tried the Olakai sandals for the first time. My sister told me all about them and how comfortable they are, especially for people who need arch support in their flip-flops, which is me. And um, I got a pair of tan ones, so they just kind of blend in with my skin tone kind of a thing in the summer. And I love a silver sandal. I don't know what it is, but I have some silver Birkenstocks and something else that's silver for a sandal. I can't remember what. But I saw the Olakai's in the silver color, and so I just purchased a pair of these. So cute. They're just very, very lightweight, comfortable. They have the arch support, and they have their in this cute silver tone. We've got this toe grip, a lot of traction. Could not resist these. I love these to pieces. Oh, I also forgot. To, I forgot to bring them out here. Um, as you know, I love Birkenstocks, and I have had several people tell me how hideous they are. <laughs> and that's fine. Some people do consider them hideous, but I just love them. And um, I decided that I wanted, I've always wanted a pair that I can just run around outside, do gardening in, and not get that cork foot, foot to bed wet. Because I've done it before, and then they're never quite the same. So then I saw that they have um, rubber, you know, like um, rubber, I guess. I, don't know, I wouldn't, wouldn't want to call them plastic, but they're more of a, a, a rubbery type of a shoe in the Birkenstock Giza. And I got two. <clears throat> I got them. In, I got a pair in black and a pair in orange. I will insert a picture here somewhere. And right out of the box, those things, perfect. So comfortable, so easy to wear. Um, they're kind of bright and in your face, so if you're at all wishy-washy about Birkenstocks. They may not be for you, but I love that I can just throw them on, hose them off, wear them to the beach, wear them to the pool, wear them gardening, wherever. And they are perfect and they are comfortable and I love the orange for just that boom pop of color. <laughs> okay, this dress. I tried it on in the store and I loved it, And but I needed petite. It was just too long for me and there's no way to hem it because of the way it is. So I had to order it in petite and I just recently got it. But it is a black cottony, dress with this kind of eyelidish type trim you can see it's got this little bit of a flower detail too like embroidered in there you see that it's like a shift dress but look how cute this um the bottom here is let me see if i can even and it's got this lacy bit on the bottom and this floral bit so yeah this is the dress and it has this uh, notch collar, notch deal in the back. Can you see like the keyhole? And it does have this side zip to help you get in and out of it. So it's not a super just, you know, hanging on you thing. It does add some, um, because you've got this, it does add some shape to it. So I just thought it was such a just nice, cute little black dress. I am 5'5", five five and this hits me perfectly where I would want it to, um, just above the knee. Um, so I'm not really considered petite, but in dresses, I almost always need a petite. So keep that in mind. And anyway, I love it. It's absolutely adorable. I think it will go for many different reasons. You could dress it up, dress it down. Um, perfect little dress for summer. So I could not resist that one. I wanted to let you know about that also. Oh, in my Mother's Day gift too, I wanted to show you. My daughter's got me this necklace and it just is a little thing that says loved. And I just thought that was the sweetest little thing. And I've been wearing it nonstop ever since they gave it to me, which has only been a few days, but still. Um, it layers really well with my diamond, my Tiffany diamond um, that I wear all the time because the diamond sits about here. So it layers perfectly well with that. And it also layers really well with my long uh, necklace, the uh, Fine Joy Bobble Bar one that I wear all the time. It kind of is like a lariat sort of with that bar at the bottom. I love that together too. So that I've been wearing it constantly. I think it's adorable. I will insert a closer picture of it so you can see it. But anyway, yeah, so excited. Wanted to share that with you. Now, last thing, belts. I'm not a belt person and I haven't been wearing belts for a very long time. I tend to want to wear things over my pants and not tuck things in but I have been starting to do the tuck again and my belts are not the best and so they're from older from you know years gone by 
and I thought, you know what, I think I'd like to invest in the black Gucci belt with the two, um, like kind of like almost a brushed gold brass looking kind of the two G's. And I would want it in black and so forth. So I was looking at them and I'm like, but I don't really wear belts very often. It'd only be an occasional thing, but maybe I'll start, but, but maybe I won't really like it very much. I don't really know. And my brain went crazy with that. So, but I really like that look and I like the way that leather is and I love the, that brushed brassish, you know, gold look of the two G's. So as I'm looking at that thinking, do I want to invest in this thing that I don't know if I'll wear or not? Um, I found this belt and I'm going to try it. So I'm trying this first for, you know, one fifth of the price. But it is by Fry, the company Fry. There, Fry. <laughs> anyway, this is the belt and it's got the same, you know, a similar type of a buckle in that same color, I mean, you know what I mean, with that brush look. And the other is just like two of these, two Gs inter interlocked or whatever with the Gucci. It's got this beautiful, supple, black, thick, nice, leather so i'm very pleased with the leather i need to get this tag off of it um just got this in the mail the other day but i think this is going to be perfect it fits me perfectly it's just the right size i love the buckles i mean the the amount of holes i love the end piece so this is a nice piece of leather it's got that very similar look to the gucci belts and i figure if i use this and love it I'll be happy if I ever still want the Gucci. I should you know, maybe go ahead and get it, but this is what it looks like. And so for one fifth of the price, I thought this would be a good way to try and see if I decide that I'm now a belt person or not. So yeah, try. I thought, you know, why not? Great brand, love it. Thank you for joining me. These, this is just random stuff I've been collecting, so to speak, over the last um, month, I guess. And been grabbing things here and there and just wanted to lump it all together into a haul of things that I've been grabbing. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're having a fantastic day, and I will talk to you guys real soon. Bye.